Hi everybody, we are going to talk about the Beer Lambert, Lambert curve. I know that this can kind of be hard um, to do it on Excel, so I'm showing my screen right now so you can see how to do this. Um, notice what I did. Uh, I made the concentration and absorbance. Con concentration is going to be your x-axis. Absorbance is going to be the y-axis. Uh, you just put your data into the two columns of Excel. Uh, then what you do is you highlight those columns. Let's highlight those two, two columns and then you're going to go to insert. You want to insert a table and so I'm looking at all these tables. You want the scatter plot. So it says insert scatter x, y or bubble chart. So I click on that and I want, I want it to connect the lines. So I'm going to click on the second one where you see the dots and it connects the lines. It says scatter with smooth lines and markers. Click on that and then beautiful. Look at this beautiful uh, calibration curve that we have. Now, something that's going to be really useful for you is the equation of the line. So we want to print the equation on this. I want you to go to the plus sign. Now, if you just click, let me click off. So if I click off of the table, um, it's not highlighted with the little circles around it. When I click on the table, you can see the little circles that I'm working on this table. Um, so click on the little plus sign, and then you're going to go down to trend lines. With this arrow, we need more information on the trend lines, more options. Click on trend lines. Um, and then from here you do even more options. So again, plus sign, trend lines, more options. And from this, you want to display the equation on the chart. So watch when I click this, woohoo, there's your equation, nice. And it's also nice to display, uh, to display the R squared value. Um, oh my goodness, this is a one. It means that we have a perfect, that is perfectly linear, um, that there wasn't any skew, that we didn't have any outlier. Uh, points. So it's nice to print the uh, R squared value as well. Next, we will always want to label and have a nice clean chart. So I'm first going to label on my chart. Now this, um, this particular data came from potassium permanganate. So I'm going to do KMNO. I don't think I can do a subscript. I'll just do a four like that. Um, I also want to do the X and the Y axes. Um, so again, if I click on my chart, I'm going to do plus and we want to do um, axis titles. So if you click on that, it automatically populates the axis titles. I click inside this box, let's delete. Um, okay, so remember the uh, Y axis, that is going to be, and if you need to come back, come back here and look, that's what we put as our absorbance and so absorbance. Um, and then down on the X axis, Again, if you want to come look what we did in our little X, Y, T chart there, um, the X axis is the concentration. Concentration. Okay, uh, so there you have it. That's how you do a Beer Lambert plot. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.